What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Monday Night Wolfcast. My name is Wolfie, aka the Werewolf, and today I'm joined by my friends, Zerum is three, aka Scoots, Yo, going on, and Sinist, aka Bert. Hello. And basically, here's what's going to happen. This is an audio podcast, and we're going to be talking about awesome things we enjoy, mostly video game stuff, but we'll occasionally dabble on things such as TV shows, movies, comics, manga, and maybe even some manga, anime, even. But how the podcast will actually play out, we'll go over what's happening with our week, talk about gaming news, and go through a Q&A session with questions provided by you, the listeners. We don't have any this week, so hopefully by the end of this cast, you guys will have a few to toss our way. And, of course, I'm going to go ahead and mention that this is our first time trying something like this. Please bear with us while we work the uh, kinks out. But anyway, before we get into the gaming news, I want to ask you guys, rather you, Scoots, what did you do this week? Did you do anything interesting? Didn't really do much, really. Just work and... Pretty much, that's about it. And a new monitor. Uh, what kind of monitor was it? It was one of those BenQ 24-inch uh, lagless monitors. Is it any good? It's legit. It's actually legit. It's legit. Definitely brighter than my other monitors, but legit. It's definitely what it lives up to its name. It's lagless. It's actually what you've been playing around with. Yeah. Do you ever find a way to mount it, or is it just sitting on your desk still? No, it's on a a metal arm thing, so I can move the monitor around. So did you take your other monitor off then? Pretty much. But that's on the desk. I see. But eventually I'll get another monitor. So you're trying to go for the triple monitor setup then? No, I'm just trying to do the dual monitor, but like I just want the same monitors. Oh, okay. One, one brand, like for example, ViewSonic, that's the one I have on the left side of my desk. And then uh, there's the BenQ one, the new monitor, that's on the right side of the desk. I'd rather have two BenQ. At least the color settings will match. Yeah, I see that. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and ask you too, Bert, anything you do this week? Uh, just playing Knights of Azure, mostly. Uh, what is Knights of... What, okay, first of all, what is Knights of Azure? It's an action RPG by Gust, people who make the Atelier games. Yeah. So, I'll be making a video on that soon. Oh, okay, there we go. A s sweet. A sneak preview announcement. I saw you playing that earlier, and I was going to ask you about that, but I figured we'd go over that a little bit later. Um, pretty much, I guess I'll cover what happened for me this week. Uh, <laughs> I pretty much just finished watching yesterday the Walking Dead season finale, and I know neither one of you really follow that show, but I'll just go ahead and give you a rundown of that real quick. Um, suffice to say, the season finale was this big event that was scheduled to be this 90-minute thing. It was like a basically kind of a movie sort of thing. And they had this awesome character that they've been building up. Uh, I'm not going to say any spoilers in case anybody hasn't seen it yet, but they hyped this character up throughout the entire season. And the way they ended this episode, oh my god, disappointment abounds. I I haven't felt this way since I watched Batman vs Superman in the theaters last week. wasn't It just didn't feel good. And I think that pretty. I think that's probably the highlight of my week was watching the Walking Dead season finale. Does it continue? Like, are they gonna do another season after this? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, Is this just something that's gonna keep going forever? It's gonna keep going, and honestly, right now there's there's a ton of backlash going on right now to AMC with how they ended it. I want to go into it, but again, I think I'll probably do so maybe later on. Like, we'll have a spoiler segment for things that we've talked about. That way, uh, anybody who wants to watch these things fresh won't have to worry about it. But yeah, it they ended it so poorly... And I guess it's supposed to be kind of an opener for next season, but they botched it royally. It's it wasn't great. <laughs> uh, uh, that pretty much does it for my week. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump on into the gaming news. 
Uh, first starting us off, because this is the first week of April, of course, there's going to be a lot of April Fools related stories. The first one, of course, is Big's Big Fishing Adventure. Uh, Scoots, you said you tried a little bit of that. You want to go ahead and give us the rundown of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, how do I start with this? Basically, it's just making a whole bunch of jabs against Big the Cat. Basically, Big the Cat is trying to make his own video game. Based on the, the little handheld fishing game. That was released, I believe, wasn't it McDonald's? Yes, actually, it was the McDonald's little, uh, like, LCD toys. And there was a lot of, uh, basically this is a Flash, a parody of that whole thing, and they like to, like, Big likes to mention about this little handheld thing, and the other <laughs> characters like to like, poke fun at it. Oh. <laughs> Calling him irrelevant, basically. So this whole game is basically the shit on Vic the Cat. <laughs> At least from whatever I played. I, I didn't play that much. Like, maybe like like the first part. I just loaded it up, and I didn't realize this was made by fans. I thought this oh, was it, something that Sega actually made. As did I, because they tweeted on their official Twitter, so I assumed it was actually <laughs> officially made by Sega. Oh, it was made by fans. Oh, wow. Okay. So... I, that was their big April Fool's thing, and they've actually, I, I kind of followed it a while back, they've been building this up over the Twitter uh, for the past, I want to say past year, they've been hinting at Big the Cat-related things, and I guess this was one of their, uh, haha, here's, here's our big joke game, sort of follow-up deals on that. Not much else to say on that one, unless, Scoots, you found something in there that was, like, super crazy worth talking about. The only thing I messed with was a labyrinth, and I was like, oh no, this is almost like Sonic Labyrinth in my mind, oh. and I'm like, no, it's not. We're not quite there yet. You can tell no. it's quality, because they're using Comic Sans. I, I can't believe they're using Comic Sans. Alright, so go ahead, and for the next news story, we're going to talk about Sega finalizing their acquisition of Atlas USA. Uh, Bert, before you cringe, which I know you're kind of doing, I can feel it. Uh, we should go ahead and say that they said not to worry, and this is from Sega, please don't worry, things are just going to go according to plan, nothing will change, it's pretty much the reason people are guesstimating why we've been getting a lot of Sega localization announcements lately. Like that 7th Dragon game? Like the 7th Dragon game, uh, VFD3, which is I think the third game in the series, but thankfully, it doesn't follow any of the other Seventh Dragon stories, so this one we can just jump into fresh, hence the localization. But yeah, uh, I I kind of wanted to address that myself because uh, I know how much we, most of us here, I'll say actually all of us, enjoy Atlas games to include the Shimigami games, which are excellent. I love each and every one of those. Uh, the Persona games. And the Etrian Odyssey games. Bert, didn't you play one of those, actually? Yeah. And we're uh, not talking Persona Q either. Persona Q is not bad. Yeah, well, no, no. I was you talking about an, to play it. an actual Etrian Odyssey game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that they've been doing those remakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they are, they're also doing uh, the fifth one, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Pretty interested in that. Are they? Did they announce that they're going to be uh, doing a localization for that yet, or is it still just Japan only? I mean, I can't imagine that they wouldn't. But I don't know if they've officially come out and said whether or not they're bringing it to the States or not. Oh. It's only a matter of time, you know. Sega got their hands in the, in the, in the bucket now. It's, it's all <sighs> up from here. never come over. No, no, don't you... <laughs> this is great. This not only means that they can localize Sega stuff for them, but it's kind of a one-sided deal where I see it as they can localize stuff from Sega, but if Sega decides they want to pull back for whatever reason, this could mean bad things for Atlas USA, but they said everything's going to stay the same, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it does. It even says right here that uh, even give them the access to games like Yakuza and 
and see what else. And the Hatsune Miku games. Which are awesome and excellent, and I think everyone should try them at least once. Definitely yeah. Yakuza. Yeah, well, Sony brought over five, and I Zero is actually coming over too. Uh, it's it's localization heaven right now. Th this is a complete turnaround from Sega, at least two years ago, and I can say that safely. They're turning themselves around. It's looking good for Sega fans like myself. I just hope they don't mess it up. Oh, got to think I, positive. I, I honestly thought this was done a long time ago. This already. is uh, American branches. Yeah, I figured that. I just thought it was done a long time ago since Japan did theirs. Well, they basically they probably, just finalized it. They probably forgot they had a Sega of USA. <laughs> or America, I guess they call it. Yeah. Last thing I want to talk about that is uh, the current director of Sonic Team actually moved from Japan to the uh, Sega USA branch, and he's going to be working on uh, a couple of projects, I think one of which is going to be the 25th anniversary game. For those that don't know, he's also the guy behind the adventure games, Heroes, and yes, I believe he had a hand in 06, but not that much. So, hmm. We shall see. You for the next... 06. Oh, d no. We're, we're not going to get into this. Not this week. We're going to go <laughs> ahead and skip to the next news story, and that's Alex being added to Street Fighter V. This is a few days old but still relevant right like yeah. um relevant to me it's relevant to all of us we we have yet to try alex well i i'm speaking for myself have uh you scoots had a chance to try alex yet let's just say you'll love this character a lot oh i like the sound he's, of that he's pretty faithful to the street fighter 3 version yeah pretty much I don't know if that, you've seen any of those comparison videos showing that his moves are basically the exact same. I saw the article for it. I didn't actually get a chance to click on it, but yeah, they showed the picture of him like doing his like buff manly pose kick, his fierce kick. Yeah, I never played him in three, so I can't really talk to the conversion, but he seems alright. Actually, a uh, Tin Man. Yes. Uh, when Alex goes into V trigger, uh, you know his V trigger is the clothesline, but uh, if you do an attack while he's doing the clothesline. He does. He does instant parries. Are you serious? Yeah. Is it like a legit parry, or is it like a yeah, kind of it's a, a mistake? Legit parry. A legit parry. That's. There's can a, you do it multiple times, or is it just a? You can do it multiple times. Yeah. There's wow. a video where a uh, uh, guy does a Chun Li super, the kick super, and uh, Alex parries it. It does Evo Moment 30, I believe. Of course. Of Parries course. everything and then does the his super. The one where he goes, you can't escape. And just like slams Chun-Li into the ground. That's sick. That's really sick. See, I, I didn't know all that. That's really crazy. I like that he has a parry. Just like Street Fighter 3. I think the Street Fighter 3 characters might have something in common. Uh, the only but... problem with that is you have to have V-Trigger for that. Of course. And it's gotta, there's got to be a trade-off somewhere. Otherwise, he'd be too strong. But I kind of also just wanted to address the little issue surrounding Alex and, you know, the March update, if you will. Uh, the March update being, I want to say, it was like the last few days of March before we got him. It no, was... March update. Are you trying to talk about, like, the... like? The trailer that they released exactly when he came out, <laughs> when they should have re released that trailer before. There's so much going on with that March update. Well, you're right, Bert. You're very right. It's technically still in March, but it was the lack of word or any feedback really that kind of made people anxious for the end of March update. I could safely say it got to the point, and I already told you both about this offcast, but I got a call while I was at work at GameStop, and the guy was basically fuming, and he asked me, yo, dude, when is this, you know, when's Alex coming out? And I had to look it up, and I was like, oh, it's actually going to be the 28th. Dude was so mad he called me at GameStop to ask. I don't know why. Didn't have internet or something, but I found that pretty funny in itself. Look, could, could you honestly say that they should have just delayed the March update till April and just call it the April update? I. 
Just so that you could have it early? Yeah. In the month? Yeah. Even though it would be technically later than you'd get it? Yeah, but if they announced it initially for an April instead of a March, don't you think it would have gone over better? Well, that's how scheduling goes, you know. I, yeah. You're playing devil's advocate here, but I I can see, hmm. I, I didn't care for how they handled that. At least show a trailer a week or two before. Some some information, just anything, because they were really quiet on that. Trailer would have been nice. Yeah, and not and not. Did you, Scoots, you said the trailer came out the day of or the day before Alex released. The day, the day of when he was released, <sighs> I believe. There were fans that had trailers out before. But yeah, the yeah, official one. the fan made ones. And I think those were made a little bit better than the actual trailer. But also the fact that we are now currently... How many days are we in? We are currently four days in April and not a single word on the April update. What's taking so long, Capcom? Get on it. Predictions to who you guys think is going to be in the April update? Guile. I'm going to say Balrog. I will also say Balrog. I'll be the odd one to say Guile. Let's see who's right. The only reason I'm saying Valrog, and I'm sure you're saying it too, Bert, is because they said, I believe sometime earlier, they said they had had Balrog playable at some point or yeah. a build. Yeah. So I figure he's coming along well enough I to mean, the point where... I figured he was going to be the first one out. That's true. Yeah. I went with uh, Alex, I guess, yeah. I guess Alex was kind of a, hey, look, Third, you know, not even Third Strike, but Street Fighter Three is in this game, so you know, look forward to it. I, I'm guessing the order is going to be. I can't remember all the characters off the top of my head, but I'm going to say for the ones I remember right now, I'm going to say it's probably going to be Alex, Balrog, Guile, uh, Ibuki, Yuri. Yuri, yeah, Yurian. Was that all of them, or was there one more? Am I missing one more? That's all. That's all of them? Yeah, I'll say it in that order. What do you think, Bert? I mean, it's impossible to know, really. I just know that they've talked about Balrog already being play playable, so... I assume he's almost too. done. No, I'm, I'm okay with this. I think Yurian will be last. Which makes sense, because... I don't know how they're going to be playing into the story of Street Fighter, you know, the deep lore of Street Fighter, but... Yurian's kind of important to the events that happen in 3, so... I'd imagine if they are doing at least a little mini story mode, if you want to call that little slideshow thing they have a story mode for characters, I assume his is going to be tied into that somehow. Well, those have all been prequels. The yeah. character stories. The June, which will be the main thing that it all leads up to. And by then, all the characters should be out, right? No. No? No, they have April, May, and then they're skipping June right. because they're doing the story mode. Right, right, okay. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I was off for a second. I can't math right now. Uh, It'll only be halfway through. Jeez. You think they'll do an expanded story once all the characters are out? Probably not. I mean, the characters that are out now, they all have those prequel stories that lead up to the June thing, so... I mean, so yeah. does Alex. Yeah, Alex does yeah. one also. I think they'll continue with that when the characters get released, but I doubt they'll do, like, a season two story. One can only hope, though. I actually like the Street Fighter story, despite what a lot of people say. I think it's, I think it's entertaining. I just like following the characters throughout the games. All right, so hopping off of that fighting game news, we're gonna jump right into the next one, which is, did you guys see the Geese and Rio trailer for uh, King of Fighters 14? Only one word can explain that whole thing. <laughs> what word Predictable. Would that be? Predictable. I'll be home. Me. Dude. The only trailer I've seen is the one Scoose linked me, which wasn't of the game. No? What was it? <laughs> it was a goose. Attacking a dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not the King of Fighters trailer at this all. It is the best trailer. Or it's the best video I've ever liked, Bert. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty accurate to what happens in the Geese trailer anyway, so... You know what? You got the geese experience you really deserved right there. I'll have to show you the video sometime. It's pretty good. So, Vert, you haven't actually seen any of the new King of Fighters 14 trailers? No, no. I've seen I saw it after that. Okay. 
Oh, I, I, I'm I, gonna be the first to admit that it's actually looking better. I am not a King of Fighters apologist by any means. Scooch, you can quote me on that, and you know that's the truth. Yeah. But I honestly think it looks... I think it looks fine. I always said if it plays fine, it should be good. Graphics have been dialed back a bit, of course, but... I, I, it, it looks great, and I'm not just saying this because because of King of Dinosaurs, even though he looks fucking mad hype. The only issue I have with it is it looks very generic. Like it has no style to it. Like say what you want about Street Fighter IV's art style, you could tell that that's that game, you know. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to butt in here. I disagree. I think King. I think. I'm just saying. I don't. I know you don't like the style, but uh. when you look at it, you can tell it was Street Fighter IV. It had a style to it. Yeah. King of Fighters just looks like a generic 3D game. <sighs> Pains me to admit this, but yeah, I, I know what you mean, but I, I hardly call Street Fighter 4's art style a style. I hated it that much. I just can't get it's over it. It's different than anything you've ever seen, though. Yeah, difference why, doesn't always mean better. Have, I know, but that's why you have such strong feelings for it. You Maybe? can recognize it. If someone okay. just showed me King of Fighters, I probably couldn't recognize it. Oh, you could recognize it. You just think it's a you know King of it Fighters like? Maximum Impact game. That's it what I like think that, it looks like. It looks like that Samurai Showdown game they put on XBLA. Oh, jeez. Oh. That's what it looks like. What was it, Sen? I think so. <laughs> Sen, yeah. Oh. That's... See, now you had to go and ruin the moment <laughs> by bringing that <laughs> one up. The graphics don't look that bad. You, compared to the initial trailer reveal with the, uh, as I like to call them, Play-Doh faces, PS... PS2 era styled, re, uh, what's what's the main character Kyo? Yes. With a yeah, they've come a long way. I think it looks definitely better. The backgrounds are starting to fill in more. They don't look as generic. There's some stages I think I agree with you, Bert, that they just look really empty and generic. But it's still a work in progress. I think they can you know kind of work this thing out as it goes. I believe the game's supposed to have like 50 or 60 characters or something like that. That's massive. So they gotta like, incorporate all of that. And yeah, they, they've been showing <laughs> with the whole leaked list, I think it's the whole roster's already been confirmed. Yeah, it, so far it's been right. It's. I, I just wonder if casual people would look at that and say, I wanna play that. But I think when you look at Guilty Gear, like you wanna play that just because how good it looks. Yeah. And I don't think King of Fighters has that. But. Here's the thing that King of Fighters has that Guilty Gear and Street Fighter V may not have, and that is, will it be playable on Xbox? Or is this a PS4-only deal, and I completely miss that, and I'm dumb? I it's have no PS4. Idea. I think it's Sony. I think it's PS4. Oh, fuck. Sony totally paid them off to have two fighting exclusives. They've clearly won this gen. Did the... Yeah, it only says PlayStation 4, 2016. Pack it up, Xbox. Yeah, because the trailer is from the PlayStation account. Damn. They might release a PC version, though. Yeah, I mean, normally Sony's okay with that. So, huh. Okay, well, I was going to say if it was going to be on Xbox and PS4, then yes, uh, then they'd they'd have an upper hand, at least over Street Fighter, because then people could actually play the damn thing if they wanted to. Was uh, the other one on Xbox 13? Yep. Yeah. Oh. King of Fighters yeah. 13 was on Xbox? That's where we played it. Basically, played it. 12. I played it on PC. 12 and 13 were on everything. Well, except for 12 was not on PC, but we don't talk about 12. Was 12 and 12 was online? hardly playable. Or was oh. it bad online? It was it bad. bad online. All right. It had a good concept, though. I like the combo system, but... Overall, it was just... Did they change the game from the core? You mean, like, from 12 to, like, 13? I thought 12 and 13 played the same. Or was 12 different? Uh, 12 had a... Oh, what was it called? Where it does, like, a critical impact hit, then after that, you, it causes your character to just... You can do, like, custom combos or something like that. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Name escapes me, too, at the moment. Hmm. Remember, it used to show that on their little uh, character trailers... Yeah, those were. I, that's the. I think that's really the most depressing thing about this, uh, King of Fighters thing is that, it's such a shame after the S and you know after they did so much work in King of Fighters twelve and thirteen with those sprites, I, I honestly think it's such a shame they had to, let it all go for you know generic three D model art. Yeah, it's much cheaper. 
Oh yeah, definitely. No one's no one's gonna argue that. But I mean, you look at thirteen, you look at fourteen. Exactly. Uh, That's what I was saying. Okay, it had, I get. It had a uh, unique look. Exactly. You can yeah. look at King of Fighters thirteen and be like, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, Athena had those thighs. Was it Athena that I played Scoots? Yes. Back uh, of Oh wait, what? <laughs> Then I Yo. had to ruin your. Then I had to ruin it by being K, and I had to throw my sunglasses at you, and then get the yeah. awesome super. No, we don't talk about that anymore. In fact, we're not even gonna talk about King of Fighters anymore. We're moving on over to the Final Fantasy 15 event breakdown. Oh, I completely missed this because I was at work at the time. Okay. But yeah, the, uh, uh, Bert, hmm. you want to go over that, Bert? Whichever <laughs> one of you is more familiar with it. Oh, let's no, go. go. No, no. Where, where, where do you want to start? Someone's got to. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> you want to talk about the anime? Introduce me. I have not. Have you seen that anime yet, Scoots? No. I just oh. know it's there. I figured you would have seen it. I mean, I could, but I haven't had the time to watch it. I there's just know it exists. Anime? Yeah. Yep. The, okay. I oh. it's five episodes. Next question. How does this tie into 15? The anime is a prequel, cool, right? Uh, I believe so. I believe it just talks about the friendship. Yeah. Between the and then there's the a movie. <laughs> yeah. There's oh, also, really? There's also there's also a CG movie. Yeah. And I think that takes place during. It's like what's happening back home. While the guys are out on the road trip. Yeah. It I talks see about, it. Uh, Noctis's father. King it's Regis. Paul. We're getting King's ahead of ourselves. Slave, Final oh, Fantasy. Yeah. Are we? Are we really? I think we're. I think we're at setting the pace right now. A pretty good pace because <laughs> this is all blowing my freaking mind. I just think that whole event was. I don't like the way it's presented. No. You both sound mildly disappointed. Office. Did you watch the whole thing, Scoots? I watched like bits and pieces at work. Where it talks about that little platinum demo. You see that, Bert? Yeah, I haven't played it yet, though. Oh. Where, you're, where you're like... <laughs> yeah, Young Noctis. Young Noctis and running up blocks and weird things. Yeah, I've downloaded it, but I haven't played it yet. I gotta download it myself. I, too, will download it. I need this in my life. This is This is gonna be great. So... This Final Fantasy XV event, we now know there's an anime, there's a movie, and a demo for the Platinum. Is there anything else, like, game-wise, what was announced for it? Well, game-wise, they had a bunch of trailers. Else. And yeah. those trailers showed a few things. Anything the one, the one Scoots is excited about is the car. Car. <laughs> It does cool things. I I wish it would happen in real life. It transforms into a, like a weird plane. Oh no! Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, it's like their airship version for this game. Pretty awesome. The, the car becomes an airship. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's fucking Mary Poppins in it. I, I I don't even know if that's the right reference I'm making here, but like, I I I need to see this. I need to see what this looks like. It sounds great. Like a regular, um, they're pulling a regular show with, with Pops' car just flying around. No wings, yeah. just just the car in the air. And uh, see this. the trailers also showed off uh, the summons, too. Those looked awesome. Yeah, they did, especially Ramu. Yeah, and Titan running through yeah. the desert or whatever. That looked really good. I'm curious so, how they'll limit that. I never played the first one where you actually get Ramu, like the first demo they had, which was exclusive with, what game was that? Was that that Final Fantasy Zero, Typo, or whatever? Oh. You mean the one that, you, you, mean, you, mean, you, mean, you mean the demo that came with Type Zero? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never had that, by the way, Tin Man. I thought you did. Who played it? He played it. He was on the PC version. I, oh. have, the, I have the actual, like, Type zero on PC, but it didn't come with uh, the fifteen demo. Gotcha. Okay. I s I thought I swear I watched one of you guys play the demo once. Maybe I I might be thinking of somebody else then. You're thinking of someone else. Probably. 
So, I guess just to summarize the uh, scale of 1 to 10, how hype for you guys for Final Fantasy 15, Bert? I mean, I, yeah, I definitely play it, so I'd say 10. Scoots? Got me wondering about a few things. I'm going to say 10 as well, but it'll relate to our next segment when we get to it. Like, I just oh. think that's a game like, you have to play type of thing. Just Yeah, because... it is one of those games. I mean, look at it. It looks freaking pretty. Yeah, if it, you're into the genre, that is. It's super pretty, and it's going to be not turn-based. It's going to be action-based, so it's going to be like right. the, the Kingdom Hearts-ish style. Yeah. So what about you? What, what's your number that you'd put on uh, it? Uh, I know you're not much of an RPG guy. Oh, well, because I... Long story short, I had a falling out with Final Fantasy after I got burned at the end of ten. So I haven't really, you know, played Final Fantasy seriously since, I will say, 10. But this one, I think, since it's not turn-based, I think I'll be able to jump back into it. I'm super casual with RPGs, so I, I'd give this one a try. I think I'll give this one, it's about 8 out of 10 on my radar right now. Definitely looking good. But you know what else is looking good, guys? <laughs> they got that segue. I did it. Rumor. PS4.5 to have twice the power of a normal PS4 GPU. So this has been, I guess, discussed w along with the also rumor, or maybe it's been confirmed now, that Xbox is going to be doing a kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, when they release multiple iterations of a console, kind of like what Nintendo did with 3DS. Revisions? Uh, revi yeah, is that what I'm looking for? Revisions? Yeah. Maybe something so like the iphone model oh yeah, that's, that's exactly good, what it is that's a good example so rumor has it ps4.5 it's gonna have twice as much power and it's gonna have deep down a god of war for such such a mistake to do this you don't well, no okay uh there's two varying opinions on this there's this is gonna be great and i believe those are the people who don't currently own a ps4 and then there's people who <laughs> yes, are like... that's definitely for sure. <laughs> this sucks because all of us own a PS4 and we're like, no, no. Like, they should just wait a couple more years and do a PS5. It, but the aren't main we in thing, a... I think, here is that they want to make it more powerful for the VR stuff. Make it an attachment. Well, that's what the VR thing is going well, to have. I, I mean, for the VR, yes. But, like, if you want, you know, big, higher quality games, just... Add an attachment to it's it. It's probably harder to do that because you, if it's closer to the actual motherboard and like, like everything's working together, and it's not based off of like a USB speeds. Mm. Okay. It's probably the, way better to do it that way. Th this is how I'm basing it upon. You've seen those lap, those gaming laptops, right? Where they uh, plug up to like this weird yeah, giant base thing the... that plugs up graphics cards in. Yeah. To give it more processing and stuff. Or those, more... Are, those are going over the Thunderbolt cable, which is way better than like a USB that these things have. They could yeah. use like two USB ports on the system and then... This thing only has two USB ports. I know, they could use both. One of which has to be used for charging a controller at all times. Or it could be like an HD DVD thing with Xbox 360. <laughs> I knew you, I, Scoots, I knew you were going to bring it up, the HD DVD player. We could never let that rest. Have you ever seen that thing? I have. No, I haven't seen it in the wild, but I know you have one. I know I have one, but like, the device <laughs> on the back has three USB ports. So like, when you plug it directly into the system... Sure, it takes a USB or whatever, but like on the back of the actual device, there's more. But why Plus would you need that, that many more? Why not? I, is the HD DVD that powerful that it has to have three plugs hogged on your 360? No, I'm saying that the, the back of the actual device allows you to plug up three USB devices. Oh, I get what you mean. What does the HD DVD thing connect with to the console? A simple mini USB. Oh, so it just goes over USB? Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. USB to use more USB. But apparently, I'm just going to go over the article here. Price is currently at 399 
There were discussions about including a better CPU, which would raise the price to $499, a price that is guaranteed to be the maximum amount one might have to pay for the upgraded console. There are currently no plans for a trading program for PlayStation 4 owners, but that could change. Don't worry, in a couple years they'll have that upgraded CPU on the PS4.8. <sighs> yep. Now, here's the thing, and I'm perfectly down to clown with a new PS4 uh, if they decide to do a new model. That's fine. That's fine. It sucks, sure, but that's fine. So long. And that's where the big butt comes from. I don't want a situation like with the new 3DS XL where only certain games can run... Uh, only certain games can run if you have this version of the system. Otherwise, you <laughs> won't be able to play it. Or That's if exactly you, what's going to happen. <laughs> if you oh, can't uh, play it, it'll be a slideshow. Are you trying to reference those mm -hmm. Super Nintendo games that can only be played on 3DS, <laughs> new 3DS XL, or new 3DS in general? What can you say, Scoots? The 3DS just wasn't capable of handling those six 16-bit graphics. <laughs> I call bull on that, but no, whatever. No, I, I I know what you're getting at. Games <laughs> like Xenoblade Chronicles, mm -hmm. Binding of Isaac, Rebirth. Oh, that was one of them. Yeah, another. Oh, oh the good example for this whole thing. You ever play Hyrule Warriors Legends? <laughs> exactly the issue mm -hmm. we're gonna run into with this. Yeah, thing. yeah. Exactly is, what's gonna happen. This is where it goes back to. Games like uh, Final Fantasy 15. This is what I was worried about because maybe they they could just do it, and yeah. just like if you want the game to run even better, you get this system. Those old demos ran very poorly. I know they did. Mm. That's what makes me wonder about this. It's it's fine. It's it's just a rumor. No need to bust a tumor because it's nothing right. but a rumor. <laughs> But from the sound of things, down. oh, <laughs> I, I just gotta say, there's a lot of rumor talks and uh, money talks. I, I, I can definitely see them pulling this off, especially with the Nintendo NX, you know, floating around in rumor space. So, yeah, uh, I guess the final thing I want to touch on is that yeah, it's got launch. Uh, Rumored launch games include Eve, Valkyrie, for PlayStation VR, Robinson, The Journey, also for PlayStation VR, Gran Turismo Sport, I didn't know the Gran Turismo line was still going, but that's for PS4 and PlayStation VR, Deep Down, which you mentioned earlier, Scoots, and God of War 4, or rather it's G-O-W-4, presumably God of War 4 for PS4. So that is that. And we're just gonna limp on over to our next news story which is killer instinct added to the windows store again a few days old but still very relevant especially relevant after what happened about an hour ago we just got done playing killer instinct you guys have been playing it uh i don't know how long you guys have been playing it but i got in for the first time to play it with you guys this week and i i love it i've never played Killer Instinct before, but I'm enjoying my experience, and I guess Scoot, since you have the most experience with it, why don't you go ahead and, you know, tell us your thoughts on Killer Instinct, or rather, how much you enjoy it. I, I enjoy know you it like a it. lot. <laughs> I love the speed of the game. That, and uh, about the pricing, it's actually cheaper on the PC. Also, if you own the console version, the Xbox One version, uh, if you want to play the PC version, you have to sync it up with uh, Xbox One to get all the stuff that you purchased. Or if you uh, had the free version of uh, Killer Instinct on uh, was it Games for Gold, you get all that stuff free immediately. As long really? as you sync it. Yeah. Fuck. I need to get an Xbox One. So that's probably one of those games that when you run out of gold, it wouldn't go away, right? Or does yeah, Xbox it, it, even it, do that? It won't go away. I mean, for the Xbox One, they'll lock out that content. But, like, the PC version, it should still be there. Yeah, since it's already synced. Yeah. That's, see, I also have to say I, I'm in love with their whole, with the way they have the marketplace set up. 
So, say for someone like me who's... Nah, I I'm getting into it, I like it a lot, but I don't want to drop 30, 40, 50 bucks down on this game, but I still want to try certain characters, and the characters I think are priced accordingly. Uh, Scooch, you can answer this for me, but uh, if you buy, say I bought uh, Riptor from the store, would I get all the costume parts and everything that come with that character that you unlock? Okay, basically, we'll, we'll start with the pricing. Each character is basically four ninety nine, except for Shadow Jago. For some reason, he's ten dollars. And uh, when you do buy the characters, you have to unlock all of their stuff. But that's the that's the fun part about the game. As you the level journey. up your characters, yes, you can unlock each costume parts. And then with the retro, if you have Killer Instinct Gold, Ki Gold that you can buy or whatever, um, you can unlock the retro costumes that way. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, you can you can just buy uh, one giant package, which is like forty nine ninety nine on PC, that has everything basically. Every single thing. Every single thing. Wow. Except for Shadow so, Jacob. Except for Shadow. Uh, Jacob, yes. Yeah, the reason is still ten. Dude, boss characters, you can't include that shit in the, in the whole pack. They gotta pay for that. Ten dollars. Easy. That character's amazing. <laughs> you, you would know you have him. He's pretty yeah. good. I fought him. It's really hard. It, it, I will say something that, you know, I, I was I was eyeballing Killer Instinct for a while. Uh, when Scoots first got his Xbox One, I was like, it looks really good. And then, you know, we finally got that announcement that it was indeed... Oh yeah, I should mention, it probably goes without saying, but for idiots like me who are kind of computer illiterate, uh, you can get it for Windows Store, but you have to have Windows 10. I did not know that. Thankfully, I had Scoots and Bert here to let me know, so I right. happily upgraded my computer to Windows 10. Didn't do it kicking and screaming. And I, uh, no regrets so far. Worth the upgrade to play that game. It's super free if you want to, but you only get to play one character, and that's the character I enjoy the most, uh, Saber Wolf. But yeah, they go on a rotation every month, I believe. So it might not be Saber Wolf next month, so... Right. Eh, I I'm, I'm fine with the character selection as it is right now, my one character. I like it. When I think about it, that was the right character to release on its Season 3 release day. Because he's like the easiest character to get into, right? Yeah, pretty much. Be that like, Jago. Oh, he'll probably be the are, next one. I think those are the two characters that get cycled around a lot. And Bert, you yeah. well, considering you played it, I'll say you play a second. Uh, you had to re or rather not relearn the game, but you had to learn the game. How easy would you say it is to get into this game? It's super easy, especially when they have the combo assisting. It does. It sure does. We you called can, you out on that shit, though. <laughs> as, long, as long as you're just hitting buttons, you'll get combos going. It's pretty easy. And, and I, the, I... I should mention that the dojo, which is their training mode, actually goes over everything very well. It does. Like, you can learn the whole game pretty easily through that. It's way better than most fighting games tutorials. See, now I'm going to have to go in there and do some to hit the dojo myself... Because I predict, I'm not saying anything, but more than likely there's probably going to be a versus video of all three of us involving Killer Instinct sometime soon on the channel. I shouldn't, you know what, I shouldn't say things I, I'm not ready to handle, but I think I got this ready to go. Oh, Spe you, should, you should mention though that it uses that Windows app stuff to run the game. Oh yeah. So, so some programs won't be able to record that. Oh, you don't think yeah, so? that's right. Well, it's just yeah. that it's compatibility issues with all kinds of things right now. Okay, yeah, what, so... yeah. What on. I had to do with uh, recording, I used OBS, and I did monitor capture, and I did it that way. Okay, so there... Stuff like Fraps and DX I do not think will detect the program. Yeah. All right, so I, I immediately take back what I said. There, there might be, but... <laughs> you use OBS anyway, right? I do, I do. Well, you'll be fine. Either, yeah, because yeah, Scoot said he did it with OBS, so he should be fine. Should be good. So I, I take back what I said about taking back what I said. There may be a versus video on Killer Instinct. 
Wow, backpedaling like a mother. And speaking of backpedaling, actually this is not a good segue, but Star Ocean 5 will have a day one edition. As you guys know, by now I'm ca super casual RPG, get good scrub. Uh, so I will leave this, I'll put this one in your hands, Bert. I feel you could best tell us what Star Ocean 5 is about and why I should be excited for this day one edition. Check her lady. For the day one edition? Probably no reason to be excited. None? <laughs> I mean, it's just the usual stuff. You get items for in-game. Oh. The only cool thing is that they have Valkyrie profile music. Yeah, that I thought you can that was set. pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, hopefully they do that stuff as separate DLC also. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, because it's going to be day one stuff, or is that... It'll be in the day one edition. I don't know if they'll DLC it up later or not. Oh. That's the only thing in the whole thing I would be interested in, though. The rest uh, is just items that, you know, make the game easier, which, whatever. Yeah, yeah, stupid day one DLC shenanigan stuff. Yeah. Scoot, have you, you actually seen gameplay video for this? I have, yes. I have not. Interesting. Those have to check a lady. Those full party fighting videos are insane and look yeah. confusing as hell. But there's like they... ten guys just running around attacking stuff. <laughs> Is it different from the other Star Oceans? Yes, so far it looks like it. Yeah. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. Did you, fight, that... you actually fight on the field, right? Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't transition to a screen. Yeah, it actually goes right into the field. Oh. No transitions, huh? I like that. But the environments look like they're from a PS3, which obviously, because that's where this game originated. I mean, the, oh, there, is a PC, there is a PS3 version, I believe. Yeah, but I do not believe the U.S. is getting that. So this we're is going to be getting PS4. We're going straight to the new system. Yeah, I got to get that upscale PS3 game, right? And the PS3 game's coming out after, which is kind of weird. Like, even in Japan. Oh. It's like a reverse Tales of, uh... Oh, Zestaria. Yeah, it's, but I think they were having issues with the PS3's frame rate. But I think <laughs> that's why they scaled it back to optimize some more. And they have comparison videos up also, which, if you have the option, which I don't even think where you get the option in the U.S., go with the PS4. <laughs> that PS3 one looked kind of rough. Oh. It, it, it'll be fine, though. You know, everything works itself out. No. No, it doesn't. No, it'll, it'll be fine, though. It's, it's fine. Scooch, you did bring up a valid point about this game, something that has me, even me, a casual, stupid RPG idiot who doesn't know a thing about RPGs, into the Star Ocean series, and that is Checker Lady. I, <laughs> I, think, I think we can all agree that's going to be the most interesting character, if not the most interesting designed character in the game. When I'm you linked me this interested. article, mm -hmm. I found other things where people are upset that it's being censored. Oh, no. Here we... Okay, so <laughs> I'm just... We're going to go on the limb here and just quickly address that Bert hates when things get censored in localization hates it like a seething hatred and not that bad <laughs> oh bird it's bad you don't even you don't even realize that your teeth are gritting right now as we talk about this it's like for pretty this, bad I, for this i don't even care very mm -hmm, notorious with nintendo games oh or Nint not, nintendo systems in general they're not actually censoring like her or anything it's another mm -hmm. character and they're just making like that you can upskirt some of the characters. They're making it so she has more underwear. It's really weird. And of That's course, quite hilarious. Of course, this upsets Bert so much that he can't get the full Japanese experience <laughs> oh, no. he wants. Yeah, dude, no, I don't want to hear it. No, you... the thing is that they're mm -hmm. they're censoring it in Japan also, which is kind of weird. Oh, so, so so then there's nothing to be okay. I see why you mean why you weren't ups that upset about it because Japan is getting the <laughs> like, censor too. I could too. literally care about this either way. <laughs> I'm just saying, in general, like you were, you were throwing a hissy fit for weeks when we heard Fire Emblem was gonna have censoring in it. You were still That's mad different. about it. You're still mad. Look at that. That's just, different, and we're not mm -hmm. going into it. No, you, you just let it go, dude. Censoring is—it's something we can't handle. We can't handle rice buns in our game. They have to be hamburgers. <laughs> Learn to accept it. So much salt. So in this much conversation. salt. You, oh, just sprinkling it everywhere. We, we just need to change the subject. Not even Checker Lady can save this segue, so we're just going to skip right on over to the Valkyria Chronicles Remastered. 
This one more or less applies, I think, more to me. Sorry, Bert, but I was the original Valkyria Chronicles fan. What? No, you weren't. I was, I was like, it didn't before even have it was PS3 cool. when it came out. They don't know that, and I can edit that part <laughs> out, so you, you never said that. So, there. And you're not going to actually get the remaster, so I don't want to hear I already sh- have the remaster. It's no. got the PC version. No, you get the PS4 version. So, support. Show support. Sh- you showed, get those trophies, man. I showed support where it matters. Oh, no, no. At the see, launch of the game and when mm-hmm. it came out on PC. <laughs> hey, Vert, why don't you go ahead and plug that video you made on, the, on, the, on Valkyria Chronicles <laughs> while you're at it? I don't need to plug anything. Uh huh. Well, unlike you, Bert, I will be buying the remastered PS4 why? edition. I have to ask why? why. Why would you get this one over the PC version? Because I want physical. You know me. I'm a collector. I need, I need physical. I want a disc to love and to hold and to call my own. I want to cradle it and keep it. And it's going to have a cool metallic case if you have the day one edition. Have you pre-ordered it yet? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't as know. A, they, as, are they still doing an, that? As an employee at GameStop, I cannot disclose <laughs> <laughs> my my business and personal pleasures, but uh, maybe. <laughs> don't worry about that. How much I'll is it? Like 30 uh, I think it's uh, thirty nine ninety nine. I believe. Thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty no no thirty nine. If it's not ninety nine, fuck it, I, it's no, over. Thirty nine. I thought it was twenty nine. It might be twenty nine. Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna check the source on that. I I, I, bel- that I thought it was thirty dollars. It's what's wrong with thirty? What's wrong with forty dollars? It's a good game. I know it is, but then it's not gonna sell. It'll sell. Come on, people who haven't played Valkyrie Chronicles okay. before. It's only thirty. Okay, so yeah, that that's doable, dude. It's this, and if you think about it. Really, this is going to be the first ever legit Sega game on a next-gen console. There haven't been any, except for Alien Isolation. Mm. <laughs> Think about why it. Does, why doesn't that count? It, well, it, it counts. I'm just saying this is the first time in a, like, this is the only one that is, like, a legit Japanese Sega game coming out for yeah, a next-gen Yakuza console. games? Physical, bird. Listen to me. Let's I'm get talking physical. about Japan. Don't, don't they have Sega uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Aren't those Yakuza Bert, games Bert, out already? Bert, I don't live in Japan right now. Are you talking about the U.S.? I don't know. I'm what talking you're talking about, about the U. I'm talking about the U.S. I'm, I'm sorry. There has to be more than one Sega game. No, honestly, even Scoots is having a hard time thinking of one. Besides Alien Isolation, there's no physical Sega games on PS4 or Xbox One. Maybe I'm dumb, but I, I, those are the only ones that I that come to my mind. Physical. I have to state that there's there's digital. There probably is, it's just you're not thinking about it because it's probably a game that you don't even care about. No, I'm right about this. I know I'm right. It's totally, it's, it's totally only Alien Isolation. I'm sure of it. No Sega sports games? I will bet my left nut that is true. And no, there's no Sega sports. Not till <laughs> Mario and Sonic at the real. Oli- no, wait. Yeah, like Olympic Games on Wii U. Yeah. That's, a, that's a Sega sports game. That's not even on the docket <laughs> to talk about, but fuck it. We're going to go right into that. No, I, no. I, I will, I'm here to announce formally that I will not be playing the 3DS version, but I will be playing the Wii U version. If it has online, will you two theoretically, in theory, theory fighting right now? What, would what you guys game are we talking about? Uh, Mario and Sonic at the No, Olympic what games. is wrong with you? <laughs> you would play it if it was online. No, Wii I would U. not. Oh, really? Is that how it's going to be? All right, Vert, you're fired. Just out of here. This is a, oh, this is a, oh, this is a group anything. effort. This is a group. No, Scoots, you're getting it too. You're oh, I want to hear anything. You didn't get poking yet. Yeah, you skipped that on us when we got poking. That's not my fault. That's James Fly's fault. I I got the game and everything. They didn't send it to you me. You could have bought it. I, you the work one, at GameStop. <laughs> Bert, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to murderize you. I can't believe you're the one that talked me down from doing it when we had that whole long text <laughs> you conversation. Shouldn't buy it. You should rent it. I was I, I was like, hey Bert. <laughs> I'm sticking I curr- my guns on it. You should rent it. I currently have 20, <laughs> 20 salty bison dollars I can spend on this Wii U card, so, you know, because I have twenty dollars in the After eShop. I played it for two hours, you asked. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, guess what? The, your two-hour stupid past self convinced me not to get it, so I don't want to hear shit. Gamefly let me down for once, but seriously, get Gamefly if you haven't already. We're not endorsed by them, but I fucking love them. Please. Use offer code Wolfcast. <laughs> we'll be right back after this falling non-sponsored message. Gamefly. 
I forgot the motto for it. We are not getting sponsored by them because of that <laughs> shit right there. That's it. <laughs> what? This is this is literally the worst advertisement for GameFly ever. So we're just gonna sweep that one under, sweep that one under the rug well, and move on to. <laughs> how about I go and move on to my segment? Oh god! Oh I'm shit! Over. Oh shit! Okay, go on, Scoots. What you got? Speaking of Pokin, a new patch has been released for Pokin. And guess what they fixed? They fixed the Shadow Mewtwo. BS. Oh, he had so an now, infinite, didn't he? Yeah, they patched that, fixed it. They fixed a whole bunch of bugs, and uh, yeah. Did they make Shadow the single Mewtwo. player more fun? No, it's still oh, the same. That's subjective. That's subjective. Well, that's subjective. I heard people say the single player was fine. Yeah, sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, don't, yeah, mm hmm. Yeah, 100,000 million people who have we use right now can't be wrong. It's it's structured fine. I just think mm -hmm. that it's boring. How? It's it's like a, it's like saying Street Fighter V single player is boring. It sure is. It, that's subjective. It's fine for what it is. I know. I'm st <laughs> stating my opinion. Your opinion is wrong, Bird. <laughs> Opinions can't be wrong. Jesus. You're right. That, by the way, Scoots, I want to. Just congratulate you on that awesome segue. That was really good from Pokin. <laughs> Way better and, than any of your current ones. No, I think I, I, I think I'm think I'm about to sink this one like fucking like you've never seen. Speaking of Pokin, we're going straight to Pokemon Sun and Moon, which I'm kind of disappointed on this because I've been out of the Pokemon game for a while. I'm a little rusty. Don't call it a comeback because I was never gone, but I was expecting some gameplay or some sort of big reveal but according to you two at least you uh scoots you said only 10 new pokemon were revealed want to elaborate said, more that, on that that's what they said during the little pokemon thing the show oh. at the end at the end of uh, the japanese pokemon show they usually have like a weird segment and one of the idols i forgot her name she asked about the is there going to be like new pokemon in the game and the guy mentioned it's gonna be uh, about over ten po ten new Pokemon. Yeah. So, again, I this this is great that having somebody who's not currently in the know. So for idiots like me who don't play Pokemon, which Pokemon would you say this is gonna be closest to? X Y Black and White. What's what was the newest one? X Y. Okay, so it'll be, this... be X Y. Ah, uh, so an X and Y two then, yeah. I don't know. I just mm. know it's going to be still in that generation. At least that's what it feels like. Mm. Not much information to go by. I was honestly more or less disappointed they didn't at least show the starters. Because that's usually how I like to know my Pokemon games beforehand. Not that I ever pick anything but the fire starter, of course. Because anything this, else is the wrong answer. Would the starters be the same that were in X and Y? I don't know how they did it for Black and White too. Were those it different was, starters? It was the same starters as, uh... The first black and white? Yeah. So that might be how they handle it. So, what what would be the... What do you... Based on what we know now, the limited information we know now, what, what would be the starters for Sun and Moon? The same uh, there in X and Y. It could be the same in the, as X and Y. Or they could have new starters, it's just... It'll be out of the ten. Three out of the ten new Pokemon are the starters. <laughs> So wait, what's okay? Answer me this, riddle me this, Batman. Finnegan, 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 Finnegan. Was yes. that the starter yeah. for? Oh, yes. I'm okay with this. I am okay with this. Oh, okay, you know what? While we're on the subject of Pokemon, uh, I this is just for my own personal, my own personal curiosity. Between all of us, and I think we all have similar answers, but I could be wrong. Uh, favorite starter, or rather, general. It could change based on Pokemon game, but what are the type of starters you normally go for? Starting with you, Bert. Uh, I don't really have a general. I just pick whatever I want. Fire, usually, water, grass. Usually, I would always do the trading thing where I'd have all three. Of course, you would. You cheating bastard! That's the easy answer. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's totally cheating. Yeah, Was that other Game Boy owned by someone else with that extension game cable? Yeah, it's my game cable, though. Oh, yeah, well, guess what? That's cheating. That's my rules. It's not legit. And Scoots, we'll just say, we'll just say for Bird, it was just freaking water, because he's lame. 
like <laughs> you like Squirtle and Blastoise and all that garbage. And you Scoots. Know, <laughs> my answer isn't going to be any better. No, it, it, you already know the right answer, and you're going to say it, right? What's your what, what starter would you pick, Scoots? Depends on the generation. G in general. Most of the time, it's. F yeah, you want me to say it, don't you? Oh yeah, just go ahead and say it. Stroke my ego. Oh jeez. <laughs> Do it. Grass. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, it's fire. All I there have to we say go. is mm -hmm. who won the Splatoon thing. You mother freaker, let that go. You don't even play Splatoon anymore. That was cheap. They had two teams. They had blue and green versus red, and we held up pretty damn well. Green I think we did the great. Version. No, no, no. No, no one chooses Bulbasaur. No. <laughs> <laughs> red is the only right answer. I'm I'm super like ignorant about this, but whatever. I love fire types. They're just the best. But yeah, I usually choose fire types, unless there's a generation. A generation where the the star is actually better with grass or water. Have the there second, ever second been? Second gen, I did like Fraligator. Okay, that's that's legit. I didn't. I think I did go for fifth gen. I liked the grass starter on that one. Snivy. All you need is six go goats anyway. You're, uh, when you play the new Pokemon Sun and Moon, I'm gonna wreck your shit with my fire starter. Your go goats are going down. <laughs> Yeah, Battle. well... Mm-hmm. Nothing. That's, that's the mm -hmm. life I live. Yeah, that's the that's your life decision to play Go-Goats. As I told uh, a friend, I always keep one fire, at least a water type, usually a mix between two types. A psychic type, sometimes a dark type. There's always a dragon type in my team, and there's a nice type. I don't know, That sounds like that sounds like cheating to me. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to have one type of Pokemon and stick to it. Bert's going to be a Go-Go trainer. I'm going to be a Fire type trainer. You know, like gyms. You don't see gym leaders and shit with very types of Pokemon. You think that shit would be fair if you walked in in your first battle and Brock has a fucking uh, uh, Geodude, Onx, and Onyx. Did I say Onx? <laughs> Onyx, the Bulbasaur, and has all his weaknesses covered? That wouldn't be fair at all. you got to have just one type. One type. Pick I wish one type. I did mention Brock. Brock Lesnar. You just reminded me of something. For the longest time, I did not know Brock did not have a shirt in red and blue. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, his character sprite. He doesn't wear a shirt. Oh. The Showing hey, his Bert. muscles. Hey, Bert. Mm -hmm. Would it piss you off if they censored Brock in blue and red, but they put a shirt on? <laughs> I'm not getting into this. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm never going to wanna... get tired of that. Continue maybe, on to your next subject. Maybe he needs a breast lighter. <laughs> Yeah, just, speaking. Oh, Scoots, I'm glad you said breast sliders because they are not going to censor out the breast sliders in the next game we're about to talk about, and that is Dark Souls 3. How's that, bird? For a segue. They don't mm. even have sliders. Fuck you, I don't know that. Thanks for spoiling that for me. <laughs> just like those other streamers who were asked to stop playing it. Damn, I am on a roll tonight. Like, oh. But yeah, Namco Bandai decided. Oops. Would you like me to start this? Because I can yeah, start this. Yeah, go ahead, Scoots. You, you probably have this uh, well better covered than I do. Okay, basically, Bandai Namco asked the streamers to stop streaming it. And these streamers got this game early. Basically, Super early. The, Japan the Japanese version, which is technically in English. And there's an exploit on Xbox One to where you can play the, you know, the whole English version of the game with the English text and everything. But basically, they, talk, they, they told them to stop streaming it. Problem with this is... All that content's already out. Thank you. It's on YouTube right now, so it's too late! It's, it's too late, too late. Bandai Namco! It's too late. <laughs> too late. The ending is there. You just put it in. Don't do it. Yep. <laughs> It's basically I will saying. Find you. <laughs> I'll tell you no. It's too late. You know what that is? That's basically that's 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 the episode trope, a TV trope. Sorry, Bert, it's gonna go over your head, maybe. Where they say, send an angry letter, write an angry letter to somebody, 
to tell him to fuck off, but don't send it, right? But that idiot person sends off that letter, and halfway when they sent it, they're like, fuck! And they try to reach back in the post office box, but it's too late. It's already been deposited. It's in there. It's gone. It's going to get to the, to the sender. Do not return. You're fucked. That's what Namco Bandai did. They fucked it up. It, it, there's no going back. Vert, you can go ahead and talk about your thoughts on the uh, streamers getting the game super early. D did you have anything to say about that? I just think it was very, very poorly done. I mean, everyone that does reviews and stuff gets the games early, obviously. But mm -hmm. normally the embargoes are for release day, and that's fine. But they shouldn't have had like regular people asking them to stream the game. And just, I don't know, it's a mess. Because the whole point of these games is for everyone to play it and, like, discover it together, you know? Right. Yes, I, I do know, and I kind of want to rant on it myself, but I believe you pretty much... The thing about you, Bird, is you're good at summarizing things in, like, two sentences or less and what would have taken me well, two paragraphs. you should paragraphs. into it a little more. So I, got, I got one word. Okay, go ahead, Scoots. Worldwide. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's a strong word, Scoots. It's really I mean, strong. I'm combining it together, so it's, it makes it one one word. So <laughs> is okay. it two separate words or is it one word? It's one word. Okay, so yeah, you got it the first I time. Think. I think. I think. Wonder. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we are now illiterate pack. This is uh, this is yeah. this is this is just a thing a, that happens. Put a hyphen between it. Yeah, don't Let's worry about it. We'll just we'll, we'll edit that part out so we sound smart. It's all one word. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Yeah. World Wide Web, right? WWW. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> We're breaking down slowly as this goes on, but I am yeah. smart. <laughs> I am so smart. I'm gonna say just just to you know further elaborate on what you guys already said, but yeah, the whole thing with Dark Souls and yeah, like Bert said, they they get review copies early. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. But for them to release it. And if they're gonna if they're going to release it to streamers ahead of time early, that's fine. But I'd say do it like a, a couple of days beforehand. Really? I, no, I'd say the streaming embargo needs to be on the day it's released. You think so? Yeah, for that type of game, yeah. I'd at best a day a day early. I, I don't think you could really find can, all I, the intricates okay in a like, day. I'm okay with like reviews being posted earlier than the release date. That's mm -hmm. completely fine. Yeah, but I think. Streams and stuff should be after it's out. Yeah, it's it's just and and it, it, people I could play devil's advocate and say that yeah we're just being a bunch of whiny bitch babies and saying that you well, we no more they got to play it before we did but really I, mean, I don't care if they get to play it early it's just yeah it's like you said it's part of the fun of Dark Souls is you know discovering shit together and I feel like that a lot of that's going to be lost. For at least, uh, I won't say, I'll say majority of people who say watch the streams ahead of time kind of know what to look for, what to expect, and yeah. To be fair, though, it's been pretty easy to avoid spoilers. Like, I don't know yeah. anything about the game still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if yeah. you don't want to know about it, it's fine. But, like, you just can't have conversations with, like, your friends now because they already know. <laughs> the thing about that is, really, it's Nam uh, Bandai Namco's fault. They could have. They could have easily, when they released these copies, they could have just said, the embargo starts now. You can't stream this. Yeah. Or put anything up on this, or otherwise we will delete that stuff. They should have done that exactly when the Japanese release It's started. hard, because... Yeah, I know it's hard, but... With the Japanese release out there, it's going to get out there. There are, like, majority of the popular streamers will actually not do that. Mm -hmm. but a lot of people will import it and then just play it also. That's true. Yeah. yeah, the really diehard Dark Souls fans, like you, Bert. You you do that if you could. And... No, come on. Dude. Out of the three of us, you love Dark Souls the like, most. He wants like two to three weeks. He wants his text. <laughs> he does. Dude, you... <laughs> there's only one. There's only one game out of him for it, and you already know what that is. Uh, no, we're not talking uh... about that. We're not getting into that. But I will say, Bert, like. You guys don't, like, you the listeners don't understand how much Bert loves, like, the Soul series. He started with Demons' Souls. I started, I started with Dark. I, would, I missed Demons. Okay, well. I went back to Demons. But when it when you got to Demons' Souls, it became a wrap. And yes, I'm saying Demons' because 
<laughs> Fuck you, Bert. I'm doing it. <laughs> a good reason. It's just... And Bert is the only man we know of this group that will literally lock himself away for a week, weeks on end. We won't hear anything from him. And by the time he comes back, he is a fucking sun bro that has beaten the game platinum. And we're like, what happened to you? And he's like, you're playing Dark Souls. And then we play it. And then, then we lose the recording. That's totally what happened <laughs> with the Bloodborne. He is definitely <laughs> in his hyperbolic time chamber. Pretty much. Oh, he, he has that... <laughs> I think Bert has a situation where where Trunks went into there and he came out super buff, but so buff Long he hair. couldn't do anything. That's Bert. He has too much knowledge that he can't do anything with it. He's dumb. Don't forget about I'm the just, long hair. I'm, yeah, in the long hair, of course. And he already has that going on for him. He's gonna get some purple dye. Just, there you go. Yeah, just go ahead and add that to the imagery I've already got of you. This is perfect. And speaking of image perfect things, we're just going to go ahead and move on to Capcom's image. And that is the <laughs> mobile division. Uh, I'll, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and say, talk on the limb for all of us and say none of us really care either which way for mobile gaming. Except me. I kind of despise it. I kind of don't care for mobile gaming. I don't like it. But you love Monster Hunter. Uh, I do. Oh my God, do I love Monster Hunter? Oh. And you love Mega Man. I I well, do like Mega Man. Capcom doesn't though, so you don't have to worry about that. That's true. No, I don't. But I'll uh, never have to worry uh, about Mega Man coming back to bother me again. And speaking, this is completely off subject, but it's relevant. Mega Man. Uh, Capcom asked fans if they'd like to see another classic one. This is not on the docket, but I just thought I'd touch on that real quick. Scoots, you know, would you would you care to see a new classic Mega Man game in the style yes of Mario and, 10? Yes and no. Yes, mm. because it's a Mega Man game, and no, because it's not Mega Man Legends. Oh, and that's another segue, because Legends 2 is coming out on PSN this week. Man, yeah, we are so doing we great. It. Oh, you don't care if I want a Mega Man game coming out? Bert... Let me ask you something. <laughs> I don't want to know What's what that? you want to know. Do you like Mega Man? That's, that's uh -huh. the question I wanted you to ask. Yeah, but Actually, it's, it's relevant. I, I want to know, I want to know this. Do you like Mega Man? No. Yeah, of course All you right. don't. I'm indifferent, rather. GTFO. I would say I hate it. <laughs> uh -huh. No, no, you have a thing against blue platforming characters. I know this. <laughs> We all know this. Everyone knows True. this. And now all the listeners know this. You're a huge Exposed. fraud. No one will ever ask you questions about Mega Man again. But starting now. We don't need a new Mega Man. No? Why not, Bert? Is it we because you despise? Oh. Way to, bring the, way to bring the cast down a whole peg. Damn. Awesome. Bert, you know what? I agree. It is going to be awesome. Because we're going to play it. You damn Debbie Downer. You, yeah, one of us is gonna play it, and I do. And by one of us, I mean two of us. Paired Don't you already together. own it, Scoots? I'll play it. What? Scoots. I thought you already owned it, Scoots. I do not. Uh, I thought you pre-ordered it. I, I thought not. you did too. Oh wow! Because after they after they delayed it so many times, I was just all like, you know what? I'll just wait. I'll wait like a good boy. Maybe you dodged a bullet because we advertised the crap out of that game in GameStop. We still have posters for Mighty Number no. Nine up. That oh, I know. Yeah, the GameStop yeah. I go to has Mighty Number no. Nine posters still. Have they actually announced the? This is completely off subject of what we were originally talking about, but that should tell you how much we care about Capcom's mobile division. But like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can Mar say it's Breath of Fire Six, and then I'm just oh, sad. Well, you're sad. I see it, and I see Cool Wolfman, and I'm like, I'd play that. Of course you would. I would, but. Mighty Number no. Nine. Wow. Um, what? There's nothing we can add to the discussion of Mighty Number no. Nine. You probably haven't heard before, but jeez, what a botch! How many pre-orders did you guys take for that? None. Did you push we, that hard, right? Uh, none. None. We have no pre-orders on that game. The one guy who came in and asked about it once, we assume he died because he never came back. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty grim. It's a bad situation. So, yeah. Uh, Scoots, speaking of things that will die, we're going to have to play that. So oh, Don't worry, I'll play it. 
yeah, brace yourself. I will be there for the ride. Expect that playthrough on this channel. Uh, 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 uh. Has co-op. It has it has a two player mode, I believe. They they the reason they delayed it uh, last time, I think, was because they wanted to work on the multiplayer mode. Right, they're talking about netcode and stuff. Right? Yeah. So technically speaking, there could be a co-op or versus or whatever is in there. Time will tell if this game ever fucking comes out. That just reminded me of the other thing that they're doing. What's that? Thing that uh, relates with Mega Man Legends. Oh. Second one coming out? Red Ash. Oh. <gasps> what are you oh, talking about? What's the Legends just... 2 coming out on PS3? Yeah, can we just Storm go back to Legends 2? Oh. Just, just draw. Yeah, Red let's go back. Let's yeah. go back to Legends 2. That's let's awesome. Let's go back to Happy Things. Is that you, you need out? to play that? Or is it coming mm -hmm. out? I I wait. Well, I think it, I think it was due out this week. I, I'm not sure, honestly. I I need to get it though. I want it physical, honestly. You know, collector and all that. But Mr. I'd pl I'd play you, a digital. You need, you need you need to play that game. I know, Scoots. I know. You need to, you need to do a whole segment of you playing I'm, that game. <laughs> I'm like 20 years overdue on that game, but I uh, now that, that it's game available, it's amazing. I know my body is ready. But speaking of things only I am ready for, we're just gonna mosey on down to the Hatsune Miku Project Diva X coming to the West. I'll leave you this both, to you. You both could care less, but I only me, want one song in there, and I'll be happy. Yeah. God. Dude, for those that don't know, Vert loves the Pinky Promise song for, for reasons. We're not going to elaborate on that, but... Oh, I know why he likes the Pinky Promise song, because it wasn't censored. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. I'm doing it. <laughs> she sure was, though. <laughs> we don't... We're, we're just going to... Uh, Project Diva uh, X is the big arcade uh, re-release. It's going to have a whole bunch of songs in it. It's going to be super awesome, super sick. Me, I have the Project Diva F games, uh, the first and the second one. The first one being so hard to find, you will die. And the second one being kind of, yeah, you can find it anywhere. Uh, I recommend the first game because I like it over the second game. Uh, you know what, I recommend actually? recommend the second game. You would because Just of that one song. <laughs> Just that one song. It's all it took. But uh, yeah, for those that aren't going to know what the heck is a Project Diva and what is a Hatsune Miku, you ask. Uh, you've more than likely Those seen this. questions best not yeah. asked. No, I'm going to answer them. I answer the hard questions so you guys don't have to. Just sit back. Just sit back. Put your arms behind your back and don't, you know, just take it easy. I'm gonna, I got this. Uh, <laughs> Hatsune, I'm just going to go over it quickly then. Hatsune Miku is a digital idol from Japan. And she's basically this vocaloid. And a vocaloid sings songs with lyrics. So the singers don't have to. They can just make music and then have a digital singer sing for them. It's an interesting concept, and it's actually hitting the West pretty hard right now. Uh, I won't say it's taking the West by storm, but they're they're working it into uh, Western stuff right now. Uh, for example, during one of the Walking Dead, while I was watching Walking Dead, that disappointing season finale, uh, one of the commercials for, I think it was a Windows tablet computer, had a Miku... Uh, song playing in it and it actually had that one song uh, I'll probably play a little section of it here if I can get away with it But yeah, it had a Miku song in it, and she's yeah, she's she's on the she's on the uprise. So uh, look out for digital idols; they might be showing up sooner than you think. It's a rhythm game. I I actually really like it, and yeah. Seeing as I was the only one who had anything to say on that, we're just gonna. Speaking of Project Diva X, we're gonna go into Guilty Gear X Erd Revelator, and that mm. ha that is. <laughs> Scoots, you sound like you have a lot to say on this matter. This is the demo that has 20 plus characters, but, and that's a huge but, it's only for those that have the pre order. Uh, Scoots, did you want to talk about this or did you want me to go ahead? You, you just lost me right after you said Revelator, and I was just like, mmm. Ah, uh, just the name. Okay. 
Well, so uh, as you guys can tell, we love fighting games a lot. We, except for you, Scoots, you got to play Guilty Gear Zerd. We, uh, as in me and Bert, sadly missed out on the Guilty Gear experience. I'm struggling, as you can tell. I'm trying not to say Guilty Gear, as I normally do. Uh, but we missed out on that experience, and now we're going to have our second chance with Guilty Gear Exerd Revelator. As for the demo, it's it's basically what Street Fighter V was in early access, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty messed up. Oh, I, I just I calls it as I sees it, if you think about it. So, if you want to play Guilty Gear Zerd Revelator, just uh, pre-order it. You can try it. It's got 20 characters and 3 modes. And uh, that sounds pretty sick. If I knew 100% that I was going to enjoy this game, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. I liked Guilty Gear Reload on Xbox original. But, uh, yeah. Go ahead and give the demo a shot. It's uh, available on PlayStation 4. Uh, via the Japanese PlayStation Store, I should mention that. Also, have a Japanese account ready to go. Uh, Not pre-order. Oh, okay. If it's on the 5th, uh, the U.S. gets it. Yeah, oh. Tomorrow. Oh, mm, yeah. Okay, so pretty much by the time this goes out, you will be able to pre-order this game. Do it. If you want to play it, that is. What are you waiting for? Do it! Do it! And I think that's pretty much it for the gaming news for the first week of April. I'm surprised we didn't get a single April Fool's like story joke story in this docket. It's crazy when you think about it. Like <laughs> the first week of April should be filled with this crap, but it wasn't. So yeah, we're just gonna jump on into the final segment, which is other news, and that is Batman versus Soups. Plummeting the second week in box office. Ouch. Ouch. Big ouch. Scoots, you and I are most qualified to talk about this. Bert, go sit in the corner while the grown men talk about their superhero cartoon show TV movies. Fine. Yeah. I saw this coming a mile away. And you've probably already seen my review on it on my other channel. But yeah, I didn't particularly care for that movie. Didn't really like it so let me let me is... ask you the, the real thing the real thing yeah. right here go ahead go did, ahead man did you look at it through a comic book dance or did you actually look at it through like a dc you know dc actual movie i honestly they, they went <laughs> i honestly went into this as a movie goer like i normally do normally i'll make exceptions for certain movies but yeah I just sat there, turned my brain off, and was like, "Okay, entertain me." There was and... one. There was there was one gripe about that movie that I noticed, and I just like I found that hilarious. What's that? You know, for the world greatest detective, he didn't really do his job well. Sure, he did. Uh, he he got the photos back for for uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, but he couldn't figure out the Lex Luthor thing. Uh, uh, but, but that's because Lex Luthor played them all for fools. It was the most. It was the best. He was clearly he. Lex Luthor is Batman. Yes, that you're yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, uh, we figured we we solved it. I just want to say it, it, it was. It was uh, I I don't know how to describe that movie. Yeah, like I wasn't I, I wasn't so just dis- like I was disappointed, but it wasn't like. For me, it didn't feel like entirely that bad. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, did you go into it like a moviegoer, or did you go into it as a comic book reader? Same question. I just me. went into it knowing that the movie is probably going to be bad, because Man of Steel was kind of... Uh... Oh, yeah, this is the follow-up to Man of Steel. I just... I just remember that. This is the building... That was the building block for the rest of this. And it's it's just... it's. The movie right now is just not doing great. There's not really much else to say about it. And here's the crazy part. Here is the craziest part. There are actually people right now, and this is true, that are saying that Marvel paid off critics to talk shit about this movie. And all I can say is, the proof is in the pudding. 
this has the I think it has the record for biggest drop second week superhero wise. So uh, eh. okay. I don't think I, I got friends that are about to watch it again. Mm. I actually have a friend who loves the movie. Yeah, completely. That's... That's the thing. It's just one of those polarizing movies. It's it's going to be the next Man of Steel. Like people, are, some people are going to look back and be like, "Yeah, that was a good movie," and some people are just going to look back and be like, "That was a movie." The worst thing is that the director, and this is the last thing I'll touch upon on this, the director is Zack Snyder, is going to be working on Justice League next year. Same guy who made this one, so I don't know if Warner Brothers is going to be doing something about him or if they're going to keep him on board despite reviews on this movie, but we shall see. We shall see. Um, the thing is, Scoots, <laughs> I, I, want, I want in Civil War, Captain America Civil War, I want at the climax of the fight, I want... A Captain America and Iron Man to be fighting I want Iron Man to be ready to blow off Captain America's face and right before he does Captain America says save Martha and then Iron Man's like what do you mean what do you mean by that name and that's how it ends then they become best friends again then the, and then fucking Wonder Woman shows up in that movie for no reason and, st right and stops theme. And stop and stop Thanos from taking over the Civil War verse. We've done it. We've written the MCU. It's over. It's great. And <laughs> normally this would and then be Deadpool the part. Appears. And then Deadpool appears. Oh and he, no! And he's like, uh, drink some of Grandma's sweet peach tea or whatever that quote was. <laughs> that, that was a funny part. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh... Sorry, Batman vs. Superman fans. <laughs> My favorite part was when Batman was like, felt helpless, and he was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, that was that was actually funny. I feel that sorry whole... for Ben Affleck. He was the best Batman. He did pretty good. He was really good. He couldn't save the movie though. Movie couldn't save him. Um, <sighs> Jesus, this is normally where the podcast will be going to the Q&A session, but uh, sadly we don't have any questions. But hopefully by the next time we do this, if we decide to go ahead and do a, another podcast, you guys will have questions for us, and you can ask us pretty much anything. You can address it to all of us or each of us individually, and we will happily answer all of them, no matter, no matter what, no matter how crude, lewd, or rude you are. Send those questions our way. Do so in the comments below or via the email address or the video links in the description. I just, I'm seeing Bert typing shit into the, into the Q&A session. I'm tempted to read over these just for the hell of it. But no. Thanks, Bert. Want me to read it? Like you said it. submit questions. I, I meant the viewers and the listeners. Not oh, you. I see. Yeah. Well, I but, was listener there i wasn't doing anything that's true so i guess i will answer one of your questions and now it will be i'll pick out this one when will catwoman get her comeback when halle berry is ready to play the role again that's when <laughs> do you think she'd ever do it again yes with enough money <laughs> with enough money i think she could <laughs> do anything <laughs> uh, i want that catwoman to be a part of this dcu she might as well be she might as well be here I can answer another question that you put up there. Go ahead. But why is the wilderness theme so damn good? You just answered your own question. Well, I know what this podcast is going to be ending music with. <laughs> but you know what? Before we go ahead and end, I think we're, it's good to go out on a note where I ask you guys, what have you got planned for the upcoming week? And are you guys looking forward to anything in particular, whether it's gaming-wise or anything? And I will start with you, Bert. Uh, what am I Any looking plans? forward to? Yeah. Well, I don't know when the next time we're going to record one of these, but mm -hmm. Dark Souls 3 is coming out, as we've said. Oh, yeah. So that'll be everything when it comes out. <laughs> we did say you lock yourself away for that. <laughs> Other than that, videos, I guess. And could, do you want to comment on any possible videos, any previews you want to let us or the viewers know? On the only your channel? I can, the only one I can guarantee is Knights of Azure. 
That should be up first half of this week. If this goes up when you are going to put it up. Which should be Monday night if I don't freak it up hardcore. Um, yeah, we're also going to have to... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention we forgot to plug your channel. Both of your channels, but I'll do that after I ask Scoots as well. Scoots, have you got anything planned this upcoming week? Any games you're looking forward to or anything? One that comes out tomorrow. Oh, snap. What's that? Quantum Break for Xbox <gasps> One. Oh. Right. Then after that, I believe it's Dark Souls 3. Then after Dark Souls 3, Bravely Second. Right, that is soon. Then after that, it goes downhill from there for me. (laughs) Then you become the work monster you truly are. Um, So, Justin. No, wait, I'm not finished yet with Scoots. Just one more (laughs) question, Scoots. Don't worry about it. You, you, you're ready. I'm, I'll appreciate that. But Scoots, any upcoming videos on your channel that you want to let any viewers know that might be coming out soon or is already out by the time this is uploaded? Um, there's probably going to be more uh, hmm, Skyward Sword videos with uh, Resident Evil 6 co-op gameplays between oh. my friends. Did you already record that for the PC or are you guys getting the Xbox version? Uh, I have the Xbox version of that game, but we haven't recorded because the guy I was playing with, his uh, his network went down, and his wireless router just completely screwed up, and he had to get a new one. So the Xbox version's already out? Yeah, all of it's out. Are you talking about Xbox One or the other one? Xbox One. How's but that run? I didn't know that came out already. Runs really good. Runs at a solid 60 frames. That's good. I know you're having worries about how it would run. It ran fine when I was playing it. And I did Mercenaries uh, No Mercy and exactly what the name entitles. No Mercy. Isn't that when they throw a bunch of shit enemies at you? Or a bunch of enemies? It's just an endless horde of enemies and I did a... Well, I actually have a a video I recorded but sounds all off. It's a... Onslaught mode. Was, that's a fun mode, by the way. I recommend that mode to Resident Evil 6. It's like probably the most redeeming thing of the game. But that's a whole new thing. Was Onslaught <laughs> the versus one? Yeah, that's the one where, uh, let's say, uh, you and me are against each other, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever kill count you have or like combo streak that you have going on, if it ends, let's say that you had like a 30 combo streak. You send 30 enemies to my game to screw me over. Oh, it's a, it's got the Puyo fever. Yeah, that's, that's what it's like. Okay. All right, Vert, you can go ahead and ask that question now. I kind of forgot. You were going to ask me what I had planned for the week? <laughs> Not particularly, because I don't no? care. No? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, Come I was going to ask, is, uh, you have any plans for Dark Souls 3? Oh, right. Well, I mean, you, you could have just asked me what I have planned for the week, and that probably would have been the answer, jerk. <laughs> well, I don't care about the other stuff, you know that. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> so, hey, Wolfie, um, go ahead and tell me, what, what do you got planned this week? You looking forward to anything? Thanks for asking, Wolfie. Um, I will say, yes, I am super excited for Dark Souls 3, as with everyone else. Uh, I'm working on a secret project, uh, one that I... The ace up your sleeve? It's the it's totally the ace up the sleeve. All right, just, yep. just checking. So I I just this this was a quick elaboration real quick. Bert and I are currently <laughs> in a competition to find out who will get to four hundred subs first. And I believe I have the one up leg on him, and I'm going to destroy this man. Everything he loves will be gone <laughs> after I am done with him. But yes, this is my ace up the sleeve that I'm currently working on the secret, secret playthrough game. Uh, I I can't I can't honestly say what it is because I have paranor- <laughs> paranoia about spoilers. So yeah, I don't oh, want. So any- it is what I thought it was. Then. No, freak you! No, you don't know anything. <laughs> Shit! Ah, oh, god Just damn gave it! it away. I Exposed. fucking gave it away. Fuck! All oh, my nuts are on stream. It's really embarrassing. Ah, look when away. Can we expect that? 
Fuck everything. I, no, just fucking, I'm going to go back and edit it out so I never said it. <laughs> I'm going to try if I remember. Oh, no. Um, as for the ch I guess I just fucking gave away what was happening on the channel. But, yeah, um, look forward to a Dark Souls 3 playthrough on the channel. Uh, more than likely with me and Birds, because Birds said you said your game. I'm game. Yeah. He's going to have the game beaten before I even touch the thing, so, yeah, well, it'll be fine. Um, Let me and ask you yeah. something. Yeah, go ahead. What version of that game do you think I should get? PS4 or Xbox One or PC? Hmm. Hmm. I will always say PC, but obviously I have a bias. Mm-hmm. If you like these physical copy things that I hear so much about, you might want to get to the PS4. Uh-huh. They're pretty great, though. I'd get the PS4 version. That's probably what I'm going to get, thanks to James Fly. Gamefly. Oh, yeah, speaking of Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1 is now backwards compatible with Xbox One. I saw that. If you uh, get Dark Souls 3 Limited or whatever edition, you get Dark Souls 1 with it. You already have the superior version, though. Either yeah. that or it's a crappy port. Uh -huh. I was going to say, that's a botched up port. Yeah, it still can be fixed to be better anyway. That's fine. Can't you just mod it to be better anyway on the PC? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can. There's nothing the PC can't fix. That's what, he, that, 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 that's what he was getting at. <laughs> of course. No, I just have to call him out and everything. You're probably wondering how this Dark Souls 3 playthrough is going to work. It's going to work about as well as the Bloodborne playthrough went, <laughs> which you can see on the channel it, right now. <laughs> isn't that still gone? It's... Uh, isn't that it's, obliterated with your other channel? It's... There are set parts that are salvageable, but I'd have to butcher the footage. It'd yeah, basically be a boss-only Don't only, worry about it. Boss-only run. No, fuck it. I'm doing it. Oh, just to spite you. Is this your jack up the sleeve? Just, it's my... It's my... Yeah, my jack up the sleeve. My black neck. Up the sleeve, if you will. Up his pant uh, leg. It's pretty. It's yeah. It's it's hanging there. Don't, don't worry about this, it. I won't go there. Never mind. Mm, no, no. Go ahead. Let's, no. No. Let's, go there. We'll save that. It's for the competition. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, I guess that's pretty much gonna do it for this week. Thanks everyone for tuning in. This is the Monday Night Wolfcast with me, Wolfie, and Bert. What? Yeah. Okay, great. And Scoots? <laughs> yeah. I guess you're not asking me a question. No, I wasn't asking. No, this is no. no this fine. this fine. is the outro we deserve. Let's just go. <laughs> just fade the I music know. in right now. Just fade I it in. Just talk to over you the anyway. over the talking. Just over the talking. Just do it. You're the one.